Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how you can differentiate from first principles y equals cosine theta and get the result that dy by d theta is equal to minus sine theta. And what I'm going to be using are these two results that you see here that I'm taking as assumed knowledge. So what we do is we increase the angle theta by a small amount, let's say delta theta. And what we get now is the cosine of theta plus delta theta. And this is going to result in a small increase in y, which I'm going to call delta y. So we end up with y plus delta y equals the cosine of all of theta plus delta theta. Next I'm going to subtract y from both sides so therefore I get delta y equals the cosine then of theta plus delta theta and then minus the y. And I'm going to now expand the cosine of theta plus delta theta using this identity here, which, as I say, you should be familiar with. And what we end up with is delta y equaling the cosine of theta times the cosine of delta theta minus the sine of theta sine of delta theta, where I'm just replacing the a with theta and the b with delta theta. Okay, so we end up with the cosine of theta, cosine of delta theta, minus the sine of theta, sine delta theta. And then we've got the minus y here, which I replace now with cosine of theta. Now the next thing I do is just factorize the first term here and the last term here. I can see that cosine theta is a common factor. So I have delta y equals, and pulling out the cosine of theta as a common factor, I have the cosine of delta theta and then minus 1 here. And then we've got this second term there, minus sine theta, sine delta theta. And the next thing I do is I divide both sides by delta theta. I'll do it on the same line here, okay? So that's delta y over delta theta equals all of this term over delta theta, but I'm just going to put this factor here over delta theta. It's exactly the same as putting it all over delta theta. And I need to divide this term by delta theta, but I'm only going to put this part over the delta theta. Why did I do that? Well, I'm going to be picking up on this result here, because what I'm going to do is let delta theta tend to zero. So let's just write that in here as delta theta tends to zero, then delta y over delta theta is going to tend to a limit, which that limit is going to be dy by d theta. So delta y over delta theta tends to a limit, which we call dy by d theta. And this has got as h tends to zero. Well, I'm going to replace the h by delta theta. And as I say, we should be familiar with these results. If not, we'll just assume that they're correct. And so that would lead to sine of delta theta over delta theta tending to 1. So this term here would tend to 1. And the cosine of delta theta minus 1 over delta theta would tend to 0. That's that part there. So putting those results down we can see then that dy by d theta, let's put dy by d theta, is going to equal, well, for this part, it's going to be cosine theta multiplied by zero. That's going to be zero. And then here, we just end up with minus sine, sine theta 
multiplied with 1. So that's going to give minus sine theta. And that's differentiating cosine theta from first principles, giving us dy by d theta is minus sine theta. Okay, so I hope you're able to understand that, and uh, thanks for watching.